Have you ever been told or feel like that you're never ready enough? That the ball comes and you try to do it all in one swing and you just can't get ready. There's not enough time. Pros keep telling you take the racket back, but you just don't know what they mean. Well, this is the video for you because we're going to talk about the fundamentals of how to do your unit turn for your forehand and your backhand. And if you're wondering, this weird word keep, people keep saying unit turn, what it really means is how to prepare quickly in the right way. So let's get started. So if you ever heard someone say, take your racket back, get it back sooner, but you don't want to know what they mean, this is an important video for you because it's really talking about the unit turn. Now first, before we go into the unit turn, let's talk about the mistakes that you might be making getting prepared for the ball that most players are making, but they don't understand why. So you're ready for the ball, you're at a drill or a lesson, your coach is like, get your racket back. And you take the racket back. And they're like, no. And you're like, what? The racket went back. Well, the problem with this, style of take back is a couple things. First of all, it takes your racket back in a way that doesn't involve your body and your body is the engine of your stroke, meaning the body provides the power you're going to need to swing and it makes it easier to swing. Another thing, it takes you out of flow. It feels very disjointed just to take the racket back and walk around the court. When you see those players on the pros on tour and it seems so effortless, so like how are they able to do this smooth effortless stroke and some pro is going out there take your racket back and you're running around like this all the time well the problem is we don't know how to do a proper unit turn why is a proper unit turn important well it's the very first move that gets you ready to hit the ball to prepare you in two ways it puts you in flow with the ball if you do it properly and it starts to coil your body so you can then uncoil and also if done properly with the take back gives you free racket acceleration whoa You've been missing out on all this. Yes. So let's talk about, first of all, what is the unit turn? The unit turn is simply where I turn and push the racket back or take the racket back in this fashion. Now, in this fashion here, I haven't really released the racket from my hand here. So this very first turn. Now, the mistake most players make when they're doing a unit turn is they go here. They turn sideways. Now, the problem with this, there's no separation. There's no coiling. And so what, if I do it again this way, you can watch how, boom, if you look at my shoulders are facing this way and my hips are facing this way, this creates separation between my shoulders and my hips, which means I'm coiled. I have some sense of like energy stored in my torso that I can then use to flow or uncoil and hit the ball. You heard me say something about flow. So it's not this exaggerated take back. Well, if you do your unit turn, you have this flow of having the racket head up. And then once you let go, there's this slow action here. You see a lot of pros when they take the racket back, they have some sense of slowing down, but the racket doesn't stop. So it always has this nice sense of flow. And then that flow, that momentum that you're taking back with taking the racket back turns into this nice fluid drop. And on purpose, I held the bottom three or used my bottom three fingers on that to show you how smooth that can be. So I'm unit turn and then going to my stroke compared to and then what happens here, you're out of flow because the rackets went back and it stopped. And then you have to create the stroke. So look at the difference. Back, really stiff, smooth, really easy. Now, if we're talking about the backhand, it's the exact same thing, whether you're two-handed or one-handed. Meaning that from here, all I'm gonna do is take my racket back here. And this is really just a turn. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in a much easier way in one second, so stay tuned. So I'm just taking my racket back here. Okay, and then that flow sensation of relaxing, letting the racket drop, and then using the rest of my body. If I'm doing a one-handed backhand, I'm taking the racket back here, flow, and dropping. Now, to make this 10 times easier, is I usually have a player put down the racket. Because half the time on the tennis court, when you're thinking about tennis, it messes everything up. Everyone knows how to do a unit turn already. You know how to do a unit turn already. Because you do it every day when you meet somebody new. So, imagine this. You have a friend that you haven't seen in forever or somebody you're meeting right there. What's your very first move to them going to probably be? It's going to probably be like this. Hey, nice to meet you. Well, this is the exact same way you want to get in your unit turn. I've turned my upper torso. My toe has went out in the direction I'm going to move. And then I'm getting my body ready to go over there. So if we take the racket and we have that same nice to meet you, I'm going to turn nice to meet you. Okay. And I'm in this nice unit turn. Same thing on the backhand side. If I'm on my backhand side and I'm gonna step out, hey, nice to meet you. Might be a little different, I'm not left-handed, I don't know, but you're gonna go out like this. In the process of going nice to meet you, I have where you feel that tension that's being stored 
in my core. Now, from here, we want to talk about the flow. The flow, you need to flow. And the flow is letting the racket continue to go, but slow it down depending on where you are in the stroke. Meaning that if the ball's coming, your opponent's hit the ball, you know it's a forehand, you're taking it back, you're slowing down to now get in flow with ball being bounced, ball comes up, and then you're gonna start letting that racket drop and start using the rest of your body. Now, if you don't know how to use your body, this is hugely important. This is just the first part about prep preparing. Now, if you don't know how to use your body, go and watch this video because it's gonna show you how to use your body and combining the unit turn, flowing and relaxing and using your body, suddenly you can create massive amounts of racket head speed. So, it's really important that you get the unit turned down first, go learn how to use your body because once you do that, it really opens up the world for you to start preparing the right way that feels smooth is smooth and it's going to get you more power without you having to try so hard because you're back here being stiff and not fluid and then you have to do all the work and then it turns into a disaster like that that was a disaster so hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure you go check out this video because it's going to really help you